All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video for the Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer inventory component that we have been working on for a long, long time. Um, nearing the end, I can see the light, so we'll just keep ironing out bugs and getting the last of the functionality in there. Uh, before we start, I want to say thanks to all my patrons as usual. Your support is amazing. If you want to join the patrons, there's a link in the description of the video. Feel free to join. The project files will be uploaded. And yeah, thanks to everybody. Let's get going. Um, so we still have a couple of bugs to solve. Uh, first and foremost, one of my amazing patrons. All of you actually have been really good at reporting bugs. So keep doing that whenever you find weird stuff. Uh, some of it is intended, some of it is not. Uh, this is definitely not. Um, so in here we have this helper getod. What this function does is that it casts to the character and gets the HUD reference. Just so we can update stuff on the HUD. That's completely unnecessary because we have this HUD reference variable uh, that we set on Wicked Play anyway. So when we initialize the component, we do the cast and we get the HUD reference here anyway. So that's incredibly unnecessary. So we're just going to find all of the references and we're just going to replace this with this HUD so we don't have to cast every time. I'm going to copy this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. and just replace them everywhere. And yeah, that's the function itself, and we can remove this function. That's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's that. Shouldn't. Like, it's not a huge issue, like one cast here and there is fine, uh, and it's not like on take or something. So, but if we can avoid the cast, we might as well. Um, so yeah, here as well, like, if I have two overlapping, you can see I have two overlapping items and a chest. If they are overlapping, so now I... I'm overlapping the items, but if I move here, I should now only be overlapping the chest. But it's still not updating. Uh, yeah, so you can see. So open chest. If I go here, if I go, oh, if I go here, like without. Because now I should have left the collision for those, that item. You can see it's still it's bugging out. Uh, what's this now? Does that happen every time I pick up the item? Mm, that's because this needs to be run on the client, I believe. Uh, access none, trying to read properly hard reference, so yeah. Mm. So is locally get player character is locally controlled. This is only gonna happen on the client. Let's see if that solves the issue that we just created for ourselves. Uh, 
No. Access none. Trying to read properly. Hard reference. That should definitely be reread. Uh. So it's before the. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's what happens when we remove the casts. Blueprint from time error. Access none. Trying to read the properly hard reference. So this one is not valid. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, wait. That should be valid. I mean, we could just do like this. But that doesn't really solve the issue, it just gets rid of the error. Mm -mm -mm. It actually doesn't. Is this being called twice? Let me see what's going on there. I'm gonna pause. Alright, I am back. Uh, I bet that could cause some other issues and some other errors in other places as well so maybe this will solve if you get like some some uh, invalid checks invalid errors this might have solved that so basically what happened is we called this initialize that was the first thing that happened here and what this function does is it sets up the meshes and then we cast to the character and get the hud the problem is this returns nothing because we are getting this variable from the character, which is this variable. So when we do this, before we do this, since we did it here, this function, like now it's fine because now we're getting this after we actually set it on the character. So now we set it here on the character, that means we have it here as well. Uh, We could do an input for it as well. Don't we don't actually have to? It's probably even better. Am I using this? And here I'm getting yeah. Okay. I'm rerouting this video. Uh, we're gonna solve some sh stuff here. Um, so the problem with this, the way I set it up is A, it's gonna be harder to implement it to your own project because we're using a character class that I'm using, which is my master character, but you might already have a character with a bunch of functionality you want to use this inventory for that character so you don't want to be tied to my variable and it's also going to be annoying for you to change the references to your character all the time so we don't want to do that instead and this also like assumes that you have your own hud and you would set that stuff up mm. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. Because uh, this only contains this. So if you already have your own HUD, this could basically just overlay it and be on top of it or below it. 
if you don't want to like move this stuff to your own HUD that you already have and change references. So we want to make it easy and, and, and easy for you to use. So let's do like this. We're going to remove this. We're going to unplug this. We're still going to use this variable. Instead of casting to character here, we're going to make a new one. Mm. Yeah, we're adding static mesh component. That's fine. Uh, Now I'm casting like to character. Okay, this is gonna be maybe a long video. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with that setup. I might have had a reason for it. But let's uh, let's see if we don't destroy the entire thing now. So. We're doing some casting and stuff to get the character, but this could just be a character reference from the start. So. I'm just going to make this a character. Uh, This changes everything though. Mm -mm -mm. And what if you want the inventory component on something that is not a character? That's probably why I made it an actor. But then it's not going to work anyway because we're casting to character a bunch of times. So let's owning actor. I'm going to change this variable to character. Now we're going to break everything. That means we don't have to cast. We're going to rename this owning character. So in all of these functions, Just gonna drag this in. We avoid a bunch of casting. Hmm. I'm going to change this to a character reference.
two of these. No, exactly. Yeah. There we go. I'll change this to character. And in the master character, we can now, since this is a character, it still works to plug in stuff. So that's fine. Cast here. And we don't have to cast here. There we go. Mm. There's some stuff that's not gonna work now, like the health things, because that's gonna return false. This should probably still work. Looks like that is working still. There we go, exactly, because this the HUD doesn't exist anymore and stuff. Uh, so we will grab this logic. Before anything, we will do like this. It's locally controlled. Because so we only want to set this up for the client it's happening on. And in our begin function here, or the initiate function, uh, we're just going to create the HUD inside of the components. So that removes some steps for you to set up yourself when implementing it to your own component. And we can just call the client own inventory. Yeah. I'm just going to plug this in for now and see if the hunt works now. Oh, I can imagine that not working actually. Yeah, exactly. So now the owning character is a character mesh. This is a master, so we need to replace that as well. Because this is not necessary anymore. So all of these set leader post components should be towards the owning character. Actually, we can get this owning character, find references to the as master character, and we can just do like this. We don't need that anymore. 
and we don't need this. We can just get hard ref. Just plug that in by itself. And same here, we can just get hard reference. Plug that in there. Don't need that. Now we're not doing that anymore, and that should be fine. Let's see what issues we encounter now. Looks like it's working. How much? I think that might be the load that was causing some issues there. Yeah, this needs to be done. Mm, so we can't do this because we need, because that only sets up the references on client. we can do this instead. There we go. I'm sorry if I'm bad at explaining stuff here. Uh, there's just a lot going on. So basically, we initialize here. So, event begin play is pretty much replicated by itself. It gets triggered when this actor spawns on all clients and the server, right? So, this gets triggered on all cl clients and the server. This gets triggered on all clients and the server. So, all of the clients have the server knows of all of the clients' like mesh references. So we do this after, because otherwise only the client would know about the references. Uh, if we want to be really clean here, we can even custom event. Client setup hard. Uh, sorry, what did I do now? That does not need to be replicated, I believe. Or... Um, client setup hub run on owning client we can remove this Now you don't need to change to your own class anymore. And then we load the inventory.
create and set up the HUD. This will work as an overlay to your own HUD if you already have one. So you don't have to add quick slots and stuff to the one you already have. There we go. Now there is one thing that is still not gonna work. Yeah, so when I use this, it's not working. Yeah. Remove consumable left use. This is not going to work. Odd reference. Can just plug that in there. Get rid of one more cast. And here as well. Get rid of one more cast. Can it work now? There we go. Now that is working as well. There's one thing that should not work. Mm. In the inventory. So this use consumable. I mean, yeah, this can still be here because this is specific to your own character, what you want your class like items to use. So I'm just going to keep that there. So this is a character. In this case, I'm casting to my character for specific functionality for my character. It's just not going to use work for you on yet unless you cast to your own character. I think that should not work. Yeah, basic stuff seems to work at least. Uh, let me know in the comments if we created some other issues that I don't didn't foresee uh, yeah we need to find all basically we need to find all of these casts and remove them Hmm. Cast to master character here as well. Inside the reset equipment slot. Don't need to change it to an interface. Hmm. Can remove this. I think that is fine for now. I think that's fine. Uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Slight sidetrack. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pause there and do this in the next one, uh, in the next video. Uh, just because we dragged out on the time and uh, 
I don't know. Yeah, it seems the longer I record, the more issues I have with the audio and stuff. So this is good for now. Good video, cleaned up a lot of stuff. Uh, we will continue in the next one uh, with the bugs. I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.